All right, I'm at the wall. Any time we say, a brand TV a friend of Bongo Ideas. Yes, on the 9th of March, and allegedly, according to Nebusian for Edibetu social media, say, Nipe bi abba ni fie abba abbe cheno. A che se sebe sebe chena ye cheno no. Na ubiya e ni mse ye mfa kra cheno e mfa mba e fi bi msebe. E biya omu kwa kukuna anesa. Na nyame encha diye ye sa di kra cheno e ba e fie. Na onu waka se ne ilu mun sem e chere se ukwofono e be cheno. E sa nsem biya u di kain e kain e u social media e fa oman peni Nana Ado Ejre Aye Fen Rebecca Akofo Ado. Ebu shina ye yina ye ni mdiya. A brand ye bongo ideas. Eko tre efa ye yina ye ma ame. Eho. Ne no echi no insema e bobo ba no e do osu bebewe. Akwadin tu ono. Oba ye no. For some days na on kasaye. Akwadin tu nebu shina fokra no. Oba ye no. Se dia omu nimse omu de she no. Eti ye no. Oba ye nansi sanye bebewe abe mu. Eba ni sen. E diye ni e di ye no. Mwaya mo nko na kwa chene no, edi nko siye na adi inti mpo eno mo kwa chene no. Ebu siya, aha e possible multimedia. Mama waya wwe se, bibi enye siye o social media. Aha enye obenye e mo breakdown no, ankasa ankasa nwe te. Miya midi jume di yon hocha ame midi, edi Francis Ashu, aka possible. Indi kwa yonso, ene, ne dedika yon wenye cha channel isu, youtuber, nsa edan se, mese o sobeji break. Mwa share yi video no, ama na kwewe. So, ushe yano a like, wa comment, wa subscribe, wu yano a share content no. Ana se, wa recommend the channel no, ama wunye yon wenye video simbi. Ebu siya, Captain Smart, after say Bongo ideas, ye be jaye no, and I say it be a few back no. Captain Smart, a person or grant Bongo ideas interview, umpo, a ma Monday no, and a nanka is interview ne a basso. Na, a manibo elin to mo etcher say years back, Bongo ideas, kwe ya, it's na social media, so e catch re, Captain Smart say, or ye unprofessional journalist. Or a emotional journalist. Na jimu en no ewo situations bi mo so or kasa sebe. Or nye juma no se se professional journalist. Ne no ena allegedly ye se obi sende sa tweet no edema Captain Smart. Due to that tweet na o make ye ninti or cancel program no eno. Ena ama gana for a react se. Na mpempe ya meno kase diye. Ye peni mba kwa ni din edi Paul Adam Ocho na ababo nti yin a owo kasa. Nen se mwa waka ane se, wo kritisize mko fwo, but wo, ye kritisize wo ne de wakan so interview. Eba ne se yin, adi inti ya, ebu siya nse mwa Paul Adam Ocho eka ye, no looks like o making fun of Captain Smart, but u komu na u tiye, o mo mi ensa no, o biya, kwa yon fasu, o biya, o mo mi ensa no, u komu, Deep na uti e kwa ya ubi a e faso e yene juma ubi a e different do but ubi e wone nimche mbi e no na pola don acho e kacha gana for se wo udi ukrofa chem but wo ye di ubi ni de wo na wo ni mo but ube hu ye no interview a wo ni pano e wo no we chem na wo hu se watu to pa sa na we share odi fo odi fo a we share no e ye bongo ideas share in summer. A kwa la kituwa wii, eka de fa wano. E saan, e saan kwa ya ufa su di yewe juma. Ebu siya, nse ma, kwa la dom ocho, eka ye no, e do so. E nidi kwa yin so kame hon, ni yon kwa kwa je, nse mi ni moun se mo, anka sa anka sa, ni yi ya, na ya chaya jyongo, komen se shen no. Please. But it's a free world, isn't it? It's a free world. That's what we fought for, so it's okay. I ain't said things about me that I'm a thief, I built a house, it's okay, I don't care. That's fine. <laughs> but, today, he had another taste of of his of his uh, processes in a very ironic situation completely ironic so let's start so this is the starting point uh, so uh, mr hyde has been arrested or not arrested molested some story about him going around based on something he has said he has said something actually very very terrible about the first lady completely unacceptable but well it's a democracy and say it first lady can sue him for whatever reason it was suspected that because of the things he said about the first lady on the occasion of her birthday i mean a first lady's birthday and you say something so nasty and so horrible about her that's what he did he wrote it out on his social media page people were very upset ndc mpb people everybody was upset the 73 year old woman and this is what you bongo whatever you write about her and it's, it should be social media should be clapping for you because you are able to insult anybody at all for political gain or something like that i don't know 
Anyway, so when he was uh, arrested or, I don't know, abducted or questioned or whatever, it was suspected that this is questioning or his encounter with security authorities is directly related to uh, what he had written. That was a suspicion. We actually don't know the state of affairs because the police had clarified that they have not arrested him and that they have checked that he's at home. His lawyer, is he his lawyer, uh, Oliver uh, Vomaho, was talking about trying to get to his family. I don't know how that ended. I don't know whether he was making himself available and the family decided they don't want him as a lawyer because he started talking about it and then he stopped at some point. Uh, because as I'm telling you, I look at social media every minute, every day, <laughs> all the time. So this is a, 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 a Bongo and Smart advertising. Okay. Let's see what follows. This is the two of them. This is Mr. Hyde Bongo. Somehow, there's only photograph of him all over the place. And this is Mr. Smart. So they were going to conduct an interview this morning. What was the motive of the interview? What was the purpose of the interview? It is easy to, to, to read out, isn't it? It's easy to read in between the lines. The purpose of the interview would have been Bongo would have said, I'm arrested by, I've been arrested by police, an unwanted arrest, this is a constitutional democracy, it's a breach of my rights, Akufuado is a human rights lawyer, and he's president, and they are breaching my rights, and they were going to trumpet some kind of human rights um, consternation in Ghana's democratic environment. That's what they were going to, that was the agenda of the interview. It's allowed, there's no problem, it's not illegal, it's allowed. It's a democracy, and opinions are like noses, we all have them. And, and facts are sacred, but comments are free, isn't it? Yeah, so, so they are allowed to have that. I'm just pointing out what agenda they were setting up this morning. But that's why it's ironic. So as it appears, both of them are on one side, okay? Uh, Smart is going to help give him a platform for him to express his disappointment about what may have happened to him over the last few weeks. And that was going to certainly make government look bad. It was going to look like the security situation in Ghana is such that there's no freedom to express oneself. And then the, the Transparency International, we're going to have a look at it and it will form part of their database and data analysis, etc., etc., etc. Anyway, so this is what happened. After, whilst people were waiting for it, it is speculated, and we don't know whether it is true or not, but it sounds plausible, okay? It is speculated that uh, somebody sent this note to uh, God's Brain Smart sometime before the interview. What does it say? It reads as follows. This is a post. We don't, it's not clear when it was posted, the dates, but this is how it reads. It is by Mr. Hyde, uh, Hyde Bongo. He says, Captain Smart is a very unprofessional journalist. Great journalists are thinkers not emotional noise makers he should learn from bernard avle <laughs> that is what the guy but you uh Hyde Bongo, you know that you have put such information out about captain smart you know that you don't discuss it with him you are expecting him to give you a platform that's why i said this. he's having a second bite of the of the uh, of the very bitter pill this is what happened to you mr bongo Hyde. This is what happened to you at uh, GH1. You wrote nasty things about people and you were going to them to try and get something to do. It's not going to happen that way. That's one side of the conversation. So when Captain Smart read this one, many people react differently. Maybe if I read this, I'll still host him. I don't mind. Uh, but everyone is entitled to react to things said about him in a certain way. The other side of the, of the, of the angle, the other, kettle is, is, the other side of the kettle is this. So Captain Smart gets worried when people say things like this about him. He gets he, he can get worried and he every morning he's saying things about people and calling somebody dog and he he wants to call people dog. But when you are told that you are unprofessional and that you are an emotional noise maker and that you are not a thinker, he he is not happy with it. Captain Smart is not happy to be told that. He's, an, he's not a thinker. But that's, that's very heavy. That's heavy, isn't it? He's told that he's not a thinker. And he's told that he's an emotional noise maker. Uh, sometimes people say that truth hurts. I don't, know how, I don't know how you see these things. But people say truth hurts. Because if Bongo writes about me that I'm not a thinker, I really don't care. I don't care. You can say I'm not a thinker a million times. I don't care. Because the evidence doesn't bear out that. The evidence doesn't bear. You can dislike me all you want. If you say I'm not a thinker, okay, it's fine. I, I'm fine. It's okay. No problem. It's fine. So, because it's untrue. It's, I don't care. It's, it's untrue. And then you say I'm an emotional noisemaker. Yeah, no problem. No problem. We'll still dance Angelewa in the studio. 
do our things really I, I have no problem with it but as i'm saying everyone is entitled to react to when things are said about him so no one can fault captain smart for the way he has reacted to this i'm just looking in and saying that ah like captain smart you don't like people saying things about you like that so why do you always say things about people that you know are not true it's not true and you know that you're just saying it's for to create licks and likes and ticks and things like that anyway okay so the story continues oh no sorry sorry i'm not gonna uh, give me the rest of the story the story continues about uh the, the, the publication that a guy did is it okay yeah so uh he said this is what he said so this was apparently sent to captain smart so eyes before the program shoop, program is cancelled captain smart will not have will have none of that he cancelled the program he's not going to interview bongo hide ideas anymore bongo hide ideas i don't know what i don't know how it was communicated to uh bongo ideas hide that um uh the interview is not coming on anymore because if i were uh, bongo ideas hide i i i would when i'm told that the interview is not coming on i i don't anyway so this was somebody put that this this then triggered all the gossip that we're talking about you know, someone says that breaking news so breaking news he says bongo ideas was scheduled to have an interview with captain smart this morning on Onuna tv obviously the interview would have been to damage the government on his purported capture by unidentified men but a couple of hours before the interview someone sent this referring to the message we showed you to captain smart prompting him of how bongo ideas had insulted him uh, with his chest out captain smart therefore angrily cancelled the show with bongo and warned him never to cross his path both captain smart and bongo are in pains agenda yamutu <laughs> this year's election is going to be very interesting oh. this 2024 elections is going to be very nice so bongo ideas hide sets out from his house to onya tv tv3 in kanda bongo ideas hide is phoned and told that hey ojam says don't cross his path don't cross you call him a, a emotional noise maker you call him a non-thinker they call him unprofessional journalist and you are coming to say what if the police are catching you they should catch you who cares he asked for smart he is not going to respond because you have insulted him i am feeling very sorry for bongo ideas hide because i'm wondering how he took the information how he returned home how long the journey will be back home i mean you're going for an interview many people have not heard him speak before they always read what is written they have not heard him speak before this is the first time they're going to hear him speak maybe somebody will be impressed with this maybe and then you are brought back to something that you yourself produced at the time you produced, you never knew that this day was going to come. He didn't know that a day was going to come when he was going to need uh, Onuya TV's platform for the same person that he's calling unprofessional. He's calling him no thinker. And they say that you go and learn from Bernard Avila because he's a thinker. He's professional. Captain Smart. Captain Smart says that he's a, he's a pace setter. That's what he and Ifia Pokura were conversing about. He said he's a pace setter and that Ifia Pokura is a dog. Now you are telling Captain Smart who is a pace setter. You go and learn from Bernard Avila. Are you mad? So I can imagine how Captain Smart was angry and pumped up. Captain Smart, don't be in pain. Eh? This, is, this, is our, this is our work. That's how it is. The same way you do every day. Say somebody is a dog. Somebody is a boa. Somebody is kwasia. That's all you say. You don't have anything to say every day. Somebody, no analysis, nothing. No constitutional provision reference. No policy reference. Not, no historical reference. Every day somebody is a boa. Somebody, that, that's how it is, you see. That's how it is. Now, I, I decide to you to learn a lesson from that. You don't always take your, your computer or your phone and just go vitriol about people like that. It's very bad behavior. Who trained you? Were you raised in Ghana? Who trained you to be doing that? Every day you are insulting people who, who, are, to be, who are role models of the society. You make it a point to just insult role models of the society. Today, you see what has happened to you. When you say that a man is whatever, this is what has happened. So, that's how God works, you see. That's how God works. That's how God works. Please, oh, please get me the montage. Nia Yehovah, Shira, no, she got it for me. Let me use it to end this part and then we can take a break. You know, they should let you know when they have it. So this is, uh, this is our opening uh, story. Uh, he said that Captain Smart is a very unprofessional journalist. Great journalists are thinkers, not emotional noise makers. He should learn from Bernard Avle. That's from... Uh, Where's his photograph? Bongo Ideas Hide. That, that's, that's him. If you go on the internet and you type Bongo Ideas, you see his name is Nat Albert Hyde something. And so he's also Bongo Ideas. 
uh, Bongo Albert, if you like, or Bongo Nat Hyde. He's the one who's saying that about, about, uh, about, about God's brain smart. And that has created a problem. Uh, are they going to be able to get it? I, I, should have, I should have told them. Okay, so later tonight, as we...